best part of Gulf State Park isn't the beach. Yep, I said it. The beach comes second to the biking and hiking trails. We will get to the beach, but have you heard in 2023 that Hugh S. Branion Backcountry Trail was designated the best recreational trail in the country by USA Today? The trail includes 28 miles of paved and boardwalk surface that allows access to the park. We'll share a lot of video of the trails while you learn all about Gulf State Park. On the trail, you can see wildlife, including birds, alligators, and other reptiles. Some of the birds you can see include osprey, eagle, seagulls, and pelican. Along the trail are many stops to enjoy recreation and relaxation. There's a parker course, many benches and viewpoints, butterfly garden, the Gulf State Park beach, and the fishing pier. You're going to love Gulf State Park. We look forward to sharing with you today the campground beaches, fishing pier, biking and hiking trails, park activities and services, what the park has for dogs, local attractions, and more. Most importantly, we'll let you know where to find the alligators. Let's get started. Gulf State Park is located between Gulf Shores and Orange Beach and Alabama's share of the Gulf of Mexico shoreline. The turquoise coast is magnificent and Alabama did it right by protecting thousands of acres for the benefit of all. There is so much to see and do at Gulf State Park. The swimming pool, nature center, tennis courts, and campground store are located on Middle Lake inside the campground. There is a $2 fee per vehicle to get into the campground if you aren't staying in the park camping at the park lodge or in a cabin. We don't know if the pool is heated, but it always seems like a better alternative to the ocean when the weather is cool. The splash pad is a lot of fun too. The pool area is in a protected area, maybe sheltered by the pool entrance with less wind. Tennis and pickleball courts are next to the pool and are used often. There are four tennis courts at the facility. However, two are set up for pickleball and have basketball hoops inside the fence. Tucked away behind the pool and nature center are horseshoe pits, beach volleyball, swings, and monkey bars. The nature center gets good reviews, and they always have something interesting to share about the reptiles, birds, fish, and other wildlife, general habitat, and conservations in the area. Throughout the park, hidden in plain sight, are a number of playgrounds with swings, climbing installations, and other equipment that will help you pass the time. There are many spots along the inland ponds and lakes that are great for fishing. A freshwater fishing license is required. Make sure to pack your bike and hiking or running shoes. There is so much to explore and discover. If you enjoy camping, we're going to talk about that next. Gulf State Park is very affordable. Tent sites are about $30 per night. RV sites vary, and most of the sites are priced between $60 and $70 per night. The canal sites are in the $80 to $90 range. Pricing also varies depending on the time of year, weekday, or weekend. The park has hundreds of sites for RVers, and reservations can be made at allopark.com. We'll also include the link in our description. This is one of the largest campgrounds we've been to. There are over 400 sites. Most are full hookup RV sites with water, sewer, and electric. The electric has 20 amp, 30 amp, and 50 amp outlets. If you turn on the 20 amp breaker, the night light on the power post will turn on. Many of the campsites have their own charm. Some of the pull-throughs offer almost complete seclusion. Sites on the canal provide a fantastic view of the waterway. You might even see an alligator swim by. Sites close to the pool allow for easy access to all there is to offer, like the tennis courts, pool, nature center, volleyball, and other activities. Campsites are well-maintained, and each one is a little different. As you can see on the campground map, many of the pull-throughs are arcs off the main streets. These are unique in that they provide the hookups on the roadside, and the camping site is usually facing a great view. Other than the canal road and sites near the front entrance, many pull-throughs face the woods or other parklands. Our recent site seemed very secluded and quiet, although it was a long distance from the pool and other amenities. All the sites look level, as you would expect on the coast, and they are all paved asphalt, similar to the roads throughout the park. Camping is a big part of Gulf State Park, and we're happy to answer any questions you may have. Stay until the end to learn where to find the alligators. We'll go into detail on more activities, including the biggest game of hide-and-seek we've ever played, but let's talk about the park services in case you need a little something during your stay. There are bathhouses in the campground and bathrooms located throughout the park. There are 11 bathhouses which are well maintained with good showers, sinks, and toilets. We used them while we were camping, but also to wash off after the beach. Self-service laundry is also available for a fee at the campground store building. The store has firewood, ice, logoed products like sweatshirts and magnets, snacks, RV supplies, and beach gear for purchase. They are also a good concierge if you have questions about the park and surrounding area. If you need to rent a bike, they can be rented here for a fee as well. We were very surprised to find great Wi-Fi connectivity at the campground. I don't think I've ever been able to work at a campground through their Wi-Fi as well as here. It is better in the morning and gets slower throughout the day and into the evening. Gulf State Park is one of the few campgrounds we visit with recycling available. There's a blue bin and dumpsters near the entrance to the park. The recycle bin is two-sided and has spots for cans, cardboard, glass, and plastic. Try to use the recycling bins for their purpose. We've seen beach chairs, plastic bags, and general garbage in the recycling, and it just makes it harder for the recycling company to do their job. 
Also at the entrance is a fish cleaning station. We saw it in use every morning. We'll talk about the fishing pier next and stay until the end to see where to find the alligators. The fishing pier sustained damage during Hurricane Sally with sustained winds of 105 miles per hour and at least one gust over 120 miles per hour. The Category 2 hurricane traveled over the area at only 2 miles per hour causing significant damage to Alabama. Today the pier is open for fishing and licenses are required. There is a fee to visit the pier and it varies based on your residency, camping in the park, and other factors. We'll put a link in our description with more details. Included on the pier is a gift, snack, and bait shop, beachside bar and grill, fillet table, and modern bathrooms. On calm days, you can see a variety of fish from the pier, including sharks, rays, manatee, and game fish, including mackerel, sheep's head, and flounder, to name a few. Dogs are next, and later we will share what you can find in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. When you are talking about a park like this, we have to have a dad joke. Which dog breed is Dracula's favorite? Bloodhounds. Joke books make great gifts. We will put two in our description that we recommend. Dogs love Gulf State Park. There are miles of road within the campground to enjoy, and dog waste stations are available with bags and a waste can throughout Gulf State Park. In the campground, there are hiking trails like Armadillo Trail and the Middle Lake Overlook Trail that are easily accessible. The miles of trails we mentioned earlier are all available for dog walking, too. Park rules require dogs to stay on a six-foot leash, and you will want them on a leash, too. Alligators are present in the park and even in the campground like this one, and dangerous snakes are also known to live in the park. Dogs will find rabbits to chase, and we've seen armadillo roaming around at nighttime. Dogs are prohibited on the beach and in some other areas of the park due to bird protections. However, Dog Pond at Shelby Lake is reserved for canines. The dog park is open 8 a.m. to dusk and allows dogs off-leash under voice control. There is a list of rules for the dog park, and we'll share a link to those in our description, too. Are you enjoying your time at Camp Brood? Subscribe now to show us and to learn about camping and hiking in the national parks. Orange Beach and Gulf Shores are full of shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues. Nearby, you can find many shirt shops. Right outside the park is Ron John's Surf Shop, and down the street is Surf Style and others. Stores are plentiful, including Walmart and Dollar General if you need quick supplies or groceries. There's an unlimited number of restaurants. Our favorite is Pier House near Ron John, and you will find chain food as well, including at least two Waffle Houses. For entertainment, you can find mini golf, go-karts, arcades, and more. Just check Google Maps to be overwhelmed by all the retail and game-like attractions. The beach at Gulf State Park is one of the best we've been to. There are a few ways to attack the beach while in the park. The fishing pier has a large parking lot and bike racks to spend your day there. The advantage is the gift shop, pier, and restaurant provide ways to escape the sun and provide some alternate entertainment to make a day of it. The beach stretches for miles and walks along the shoreline will take you to hotel properties, space for meditation, and exploring for shells and shark teeth. The main pavilion is the second way of scoring a place on the sand. Sometimes there is fog as we encountered, Again, with parking and bike racks, the beach is easily accessible by a couple boardwalks. Full bathrooms are located here for your convenience, as well as picnic tables and showers to remove the sand at the end of the day. We found this beach quite busy and great for people watching, getting a lot of sun, and again, exploring the shoreline. Our favorite spot is way more difficult to get to, but just as amazing for different reasons. The shoreline here is flatter and great for skimboarding. At the campground road, there is parking for five vehicles and bike racks. So if you can secure a parking spot or travel by bicycle, it makes it a little easier. Otherwise, you need to walk west from the pavilion more than a half mile to reach this spot. It is popular for surf casting as there are fewer people and less congestion. We found it to be quiet, almost lonely at times. However, the skimboarding was epic. Speaking of the beach, our brood loves to play in the water all day. However, I like to relax on the sand sometimes too. I learned a while ago to enjoy my time on the beach and watch them carefully. I couldn't read books. I need to keep a closer eye on them, especially during yellow and red flag days. Audible.com solves that problem. I can listen to a book or podcast and enjoy my time on the beach while they safely enjoy playing in the waves. Check out our description for a free trial, cancel any time, offer with Amazon to try Audible today. There are a few lakes in Gulf State Park. One dimension is Lake Shelby for all it has to offer. It's just inside the shore near the fishing pier. There is a boat launch, kayak launch, and kayak, canoe, and paddleboard rentals. Your brood would love the playground and picnic area. Swimming is allowed, however, be aware of your surroundings for alligator, snakes, and other wildlife. Restrooms are also available, and as mentioned previously, the dog park is located here too. Have you ever wanted to take a Segway tour? You have your chance to Segway the best trail in the nation with the rental shop on Shelby Lake. We'll put details in our description for your reference. Gulf State Park is a great place to play the following worldwide game of hide-and-seek, and later we will discuss one downside to Gulf State Park. Do you know about geocaching? 
Say yes in the comments and tell us about your favorite geocache. If not, geocaching is searching for containers throughout the world using latitude, longitude, and clues provided with mobile apps. There are many websites that support geocaching. Learn our favorites by checking out the video description. Gulf State Park supports geocaching and you can bike and hike with purpose, geocaching throughout the park. You never know what treasure you might find. You will definitely find logbooks to autograph and a fun adventure of hide and seek. For those from out of state, you need to understand the trip from the Great Lakes to Alabama and later we'll share where to find the alligators. Our brood has traveled to Gulf State Park a few times. Like many others, we drove down for the sun, sand, buckies, and warm weather. Yes, buckies. The drive down I-65 is brutal. During spring break, travelers from Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, and all the Great Lakes states drive down I-65 with one destination in mind, the Gulf of Mexico. On the way down south, the traffic builds through Louisville, Nashville, Birmingham, Montgomery, and finally southern Alabama. Car drivers take away your stopping distance, and there are many dangerous brake checks that test your nerve. We've seen some scary accidents, too. With only two lanes, the southern traffic is more than I-65 can handle. Beware, we all stop at Bucky's, so expect it to be busy and insane. On the way north, the drive out of Alabama is just as bad, and yes, Bucky's is still busy. You'll find alligators almost anywhere in the park, and here is where we found them. Please note that feeding any wildlife in Gulf State Park is forbidden and could lead to human injury or park officials killing the animal you fed for the safety of others. Keep your distance and use a zoom lens. One, alligators can be found on the bike trail. You will see alligators on the Rosemary Dunes Trail. Look for the wildlife sign and fence and you are in the right place. Two, on the Cross Park Trail bridge between Little Lake and Middle Lake, alligators are known to swim between the lakes. Three, on the Lake Shelby Overlook Trail, alligators are known to sun themselves next to the creek. Four, on the Gopher Tortoise Trail, alligators will sun themselves near water. Five, by the campground store at the docks, we've seen an alligator at night. Carry a flashlight at night, and we wouldn't recommend letting your dogs get a drink or go swimming in the lake. Six, although we've never seen one at Hidden Lake, we know others have. Seven, in the campground, alligators will hang out near any amount of water. Eight. Basically, keep your eyes open and explore the park, and you will see alligators. Watch this video next to learn more about Gulf State Park, or check out our channel for great information about camping in the national parks.